Yo guys, Webzoff's Blade here, and today I'm finally back with a, another tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to go on how to install the shaders mod for Minecraft. So, uh, installing the shaders mod could be a bit uh, difficult, but uh, I simplified it for you guys, and hopefully you guys could get it installed perfectly without any problem. Now, do keep in mind that you are going to have to need a pretty decent computer uh, with good specs, so uh, in order to run this fairly well at good FPS. So. Just keep that in mind, but yeah, so uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to go and download Minecraft Forge. So if you don't know what that is, it's basically, uh, Forge just basically allows mods to be installed onto Minecraft. So um, just go to the website, the links will be down below in the description. Once you're here, you want to look for where it says 1.710 latest or recommended and uh, just go to the latest and uh, where it has a little star, just click on the star here or the asterisk, whatever, and the download should pop up just like that. You want to go and save it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it, just save it there. And uh, there we go, we have downloaded. Now let's go to where we saved it. Then you want to double click on it. Now if you double click on it, it doesn't open up. It shows WinRAR or Notepad or something like that. Right click and go to open with Java TM platform SE binary and uh, if you don't have this I really don't know what to do I recommend you download uh, the latest update for Java I guess and then try and doing it but yeah so it doesn't open up when you double click on it go to open with and Java TM platform SE binary I'm just gonna double click on it here All right, we have it. We have it opened up now. Uh, you want to make sure it's on the install client. Hit OK, and now the installer should come up. This should uh, install Forge for you. As you can see, it's successfully completed. So we can press OK, and bam, we have Forge. Now we're gonna go back to our browser. Now we're gonna go on Optifine, um, the Optifine website now. Uh, downloading Optifine is optional, however I really do recommend you have Optifine so uh, pretty much the shaders mod will run perfectly and uh, very minimal lag but yeah so I recommend you download Optifine but it is optional so if you want Optifine you just go to the website that I'm in the links in the description and uh, you want to choose which one um, you're going with so I'm just going to go with standard here hit the mirror button right here and then we're going to click on download Optifine .10. save it to our desktop here save there you go Optifine is downloaded so let's go to Optifine alright now what you want to do is you want to go to any folder doesn't matter which but I'm going to be using the Windows Explorer here and uh, go to it right here and uh, what you want to do is you want to go to percent app data just type that in in the address bar hit enter it should take you to your um, roaming folder or whatever and you go into the dot minecraft folder and once you're here you want to go into your mods folder and if you don't have a mods folder just right click new folder name it exactly this mods just like that so yeah so go in it and here you want to drop in the Optifine just like that all right now we're done with Optifine and again this part is optional you don't have to have Optifine in here but yeah so uh, let's continue so the last thing you want to download is the uh, of course the shaders mod itself so uh, just go to the link the link is in the description hit download right here for that to pop up all right there we go save it should be a .exe file just keep that in mind and there we go we're done with all the downloads so let's go to where we saved the gsl shares uh, .exe file and it should look something like this so uh yeah so you want to double click on it and you want to click run, run. I do believe you have to be the admin of your computer to this, but yeah, click run. 
and this should pop up the GSL shares my installer now um, before we do anything you want to go to profile and you want to note down the last three four digits that's uh, in this case is one one eight two just note that down somewhere uh, or just remember it because they'll be uh, they'll be needed later on but yeah so we're gonna go on install and where's this install to version you want to click on forge default so just put on that do not pick anything else but forge default um, don't pick 1.7.10 or just uh, yeah so just pick forge default you just want to hit install mod and this is back uh, do you want to back up your minecraft before installing I recommend you do it I'm not going to do it because I know this will work but uh, chances are if you mess up and stuff like that I do really recommend you do um, back up your minecraft so uh, go ahead and press yes on yours I'm pressing no on mine so yeah there we go uh, it's going to start installing the mod files and everything that we need in order to get shaders running um, this includes like the shaders packs and everything like that so let it do this for a uh, it might not take that long but just let it wait and uh, there we go there we have the GSSL shaders mod installed and press ok and uh, if you if anytime you want to get rid of it what you have to do is open up this and click on uninstall mod or uh, if it's giving problems try reinstalling it so that's what that's for so yeah we're going to hit X on this and yeah so um, to make sure that this program did work what you want to do is just go back to your percent uh, app data file I'm going to do that right now there we go app data without minecraft and uh, they should make a new folder called shaders pack and uh, I'm going to go into the mods first and you want to see if I uh, install shaders mod core so you want to make sure if it did that you want to go back I'm going to go to shaders packs and here you can see it comes with a lot of shaders packs and packs are basically uh, like different types of shaders so you'll see later on what that means but anyways we're going to exit out of that now we're going to finally start our minecraft start it up all right now once we arrive what you want to do is you want to go on edit profile and you want to go to the last four digits that you saw on the installer program so um, mine was 1182 so you're gonna pick that version right here release forge 1182 and hit save profile and you're gonna hit play let's start up here all right so um, yeah so what you want to do is you want to go into options and there should be a new uh, thing called shaders right here like a new option right here and uh, yeah so what you want to do is you want to go on shaders right here and you want to pick a pack and uh, you can mess around with all of them I'm pretty sure all of them work so I'm just gonna go with um, the sh uh, shaders sonic ethers unbelievable shaders mod I mean pack uh, the standard version so I'm just gonna go with that I'm gonna hit done right here and uh, also like there are settings to it I recommend you not messing with these because you might mess up your stuff but yeah so hit done then uh, also on video settings uh, if you did install Optifine you're gonna see like a lot of new options so just keep that in mind and yeah so I'm gonna hit done right here hit done again on single player let's load our world and uh, there we go there we have our um, mod uh, our shaders installed so it looks really awesome but uh, just do keep in mind you're gonna need a pretty good PC for uh, pretty good to keep up with the FPS that it requires so uh, just keep that in mind um, if you have any problems questions concerns or anything like that uh, leave your comment down below in the description I'll try my best to reply and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it and yeah so peace <laughs>